could do six, eight, ten. You could do three, four, five. But that's going to ensure you a perfect 90. So with this structure, you have to be perfect. We've established this control line, which is parallel off my pool, and it's perpendicular to my other line. Perfectly square, so those two lines dictate everything that we're doing going forward. Pull that straight, Joe. I'll get it close with my framing square here. Pinch that way. And then we'll either three, four, five this, or six, eight, 10. Framing squares are good to get close. They're pretty accurate. You don't want to depend on that when you're laying out a pergola or something to this magnitude. I just marked eight feet here off my intersection, and we went over six feet from the intersection in the other direction. Six, eight, ten. Right there, Jeff. Right now I'm holding this side of my tape measure on my eight foot mark. Go ahead and look at Joe's side. More fire eight. He's holding the tape measure on the same side that I am on his mark. What that's showing us is we're not exactly square, okay? 10 feet right on the money is square. So now we need to manipulate this line. You're off an eight. So we gotta swing out. Just, just a tap. Come on over. We're gonna swing out our line a little bit. Let's try that, guys. I'm gonna manipulate this pin a little bit. Holding on my mark. Go, let's go see, go see Joe's side. You, you good here? I'm good. I'm good. Show him what square looks like. See this, the 10, right there on the black line. See the black line right there? The key is to have the tape measure on the corner, same side down the line. We're in good shape. We have our 90s. We laid the outside perimeter of what will eventually be our stone columns for the pergola. We've measured this way. We've measured this way. We'll get this pile out and we'll just check the diagonal from that point to that point and that point to that point and X in plan view. If those are equal, we're very square and good to go. Joe, why in the world are you hand digging at your age? Because everyone else around here is too lazy to hand dig and they put the old guy in charge. Right now I need to get rid of that pile of spoils. So I need to take down this mason line. I'm perfectly square. So I need to make sure I tie my mason line at this elevation and on this side of the pin. So I put a paint mark there. Once I untie that, I have my mark. I won't lose it. Our pile is gone. Now we have a beautiful level space to work off of. Time to string up my mason line once again on my mark. Got my paint mark there. Perfect. Our forms are plumb, squared up, and ready for concrete.